We 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Carson Meredith with 31 Triple Dollar. And it's crazy to see stuff like that happening yeah. all across the country. Yeah. But I can only thank God because nothing like that is happening right now here. Hallelujah. Not at all. We're, we're finally getting a break in the humidity and the storms. Not very often we get a break like this in July. Yeah. So we're going to take advantage. Take advantage, of it. yes. Two more days, today and tomorrow, before that humidity comes back. But the big headline this morning is some fog. Fortunately, things are improving in most spots. Huntsville's looking pretty good. Decatur, that fog is lifting. Same story goes for the Shoals. Now it looks like northeast Alabama is going to be the trouble spot. That's supposed to be Lake Gunnersville, but we can't see a thing as that fog has gotten a little more dense out in Marshall County in particular and DeKalb County too. Bottom line, wherever you are watching us this morning, there could still be some patchy areas of that fog. So just add an extra five minutes to your morning drive and you should be just fine. Temperatures are incredibly comfortable for mid-July. 65 in the Metro, 65 in the Shoals, and it's 63 in Gunnersville and Decatur. Some spots maybe got close to the upper 50s. 50s this morning. Bottom line, just enjoy this morning while we got it. But there's those visibilities one more time. Under two miles still in Decatur, improving a little bit in the shoals, but still some issues at two and a half miles. And that visibility is zero in four paint. So just give yourself a couple extra minutes heading out the door. No rain to contend with. 31 triple Doppler is quiet. It's going to stay quiet all day. One of those rare July days where there is no rain in the forecast. It's still going to be warm today. Don't get me wrong. 91 is our forecast high. Plenty of sunshine to go around. It's just the lack of humidity will make that 91 degrees feel pretty comfortable for this time of year. Here's future radar for the next two days. It's all quiet. Maybe a couple clouds this afternoon. That's all low 90s here in the city, but some spots, especially in the higher terrain, may stay in the upper 80s today. No matter how you slice it, it's still going to be a great day to be outside overnight down to the mid 60s. Once again, maybe a couple degrees warmer tomorrow morning compared to right now but still a nice start to the day on Wednesday. But as the day goes on tomorrow, you're going to notice that humidity creep up just a little bit. It's not unbearable, but you'll at least notice it as you're out and about tomorrow. You'll notice some warmer temperatures too. Many of us topping out in the low 90s Wednesday afternoon. We'll call it 93 here in the Rocket City. But if you can, take advantage of the next two days with those chores outdoors. Today and tomorrow, good to go. We could have a stray shower tomorrow afternoon in the Shoals, but that is a very, very low chance. The soupy air you can wear is back on Thursday. That will bring the return of rain chances too. more widespread rain chances. As far as exactly which days have the most rain, it's hard to pick out those details at this point. So we'll just go 40% across the board Thursday, Friday, Saturday for those scattered showers and storms peaking each afternoon. And in addition to the rain chances, that humidity it's going to make it feel toasty again. In fact, starting Thursday afternoon, we're going to see that heat index back into the triple digits, not just Thursday, but also heading into Friday afternoon. Then again, Saturday. This doesn't look like dangerous heat just yet, but we'll have to keep a close eye on that. I would not be surprised if we had a couple of heat advisories issued, especially by Friday and Saturday. Just take it easy outside this weekend. 10 day forecast shows those high temperatures in the low 90s for quite some time. Breaking the rain for now, but those storm chances are back by Thursday.